today we're going to be talking all about ladybirds. Now, if you remember last term, we were talking all about hibernation and learning about animals that hibernate. We learned about the hedgehog, we learned about bears. Can you remember any other animals that hibernate? Well, I've got a fun fact for you. Did you know that actually ladybirds hibernate too? And they come out of hibernation in April. Well, today is April the 1st, the first day of April. It's also April Fool's Day, so some people might try, try and play some tricks on you. But today we're going to be reading The Bad-Tempered Ladybird. It's one of my favourite stories. It's really funny. The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carl. And on this sticker it says, From the creator of the very hungry caterpillar. So that means that Eric Carl, the author of this book, also wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We love that story, don't we? The Bad-Tempered Ladybird. Right. At the beginning, it gives us some very, very important facts. It tells us that aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybirds eat the aphids. That's good for the trees, shrubs and other plants that have leaves. So the ladybirds are the heroes. They save the leaves by eating the aphids. And it says, to the ladybirds I have dedicated this book. Three cheers for them. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray, ladybirds! The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. <gasps> but just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. <gasps> oh no, I wonder what's going to happen. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. Uh, we can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine. Oh, Mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or, do you want to fight me for them? <gasps> That's not very nice, is it? Uh, well, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Oh, then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll just do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. <gasps> what a grumpy mood that bad-tempered ladybird's in. Oh, look, it's got lots of different pages, just like the hungry caterpillar. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. What a fight! Um, if you insist, said the wasp, showing his stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And it flew off. <gasps> At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Now, a stag beetle is a little bit different from a normal beetle because it has these big pincers like this. Looks a bit like a stag, like a, a, a male deer. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, what a fight. If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And it flew off. <gasps> Looks quite big to me. At 
eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, what a fight! Um, if you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. Not big enough? He's massive! At nine o'clock, it almost flew right into a sparrow. So a bar sparrow is a type of bird. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And it flew off. o'clock it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, what a fight! If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and it flew off. At eleven o'clock it bumped into a skunk. Remember what a skunk is? A skunk does something funny with its tail. It lifts its tail up and it does a big stinky fart. Pooey! Hey you! said the ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift up its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And it flew off. <gasps> Can you see? At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. That's a type of snake. Hey, you! Said the bad-tempered ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the snake. Right. After lunch. <gasps> What's the snake going to eat for its lunch? Oh no, poor Mr. Squirrel. Oh, you're not big enough, said the ladybird. The bad-tempered ladybird. And he flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Surely the hyena is going to be big enough for the ladybird to fight. Hey, you! said the bad tempered ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird. And it flew. It met a gorilla. Hey, you! said the bad tempered ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird. And it flew off. it ran into a rhinoceros. Can't get much bigger than a rhinoceros, can you? What do you think the bad-tempered ladybird said? Hey, you! What a fight! <coughs> <coughs> if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. <coughs> At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. What a fight! If you insist, said the
stood the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. Giant elephant. Who's the ladybird going to find that's bigger than an elephant? Oh, at five o'clock it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, what a fight! But the whale didn't answer at all. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. So remember that was at five o'clock. So 15 minutes later, at 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, hey you, what a fight! But it got no answer. So it flew on. So it took the bad-tempered ladybird 15 minutes to get all the way from the whale's Face all the way from the to the from the whale's head to its flipper. Fifteen minutes. At five thirty, so another fifteen minutes, the bad tempered ladybird landed on the whale's fin and said to the whale's fin, Hey you! What a fight! But it got no answer, so it flew on. Quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. <gasps> At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived right where it had started from. Can you remember where it started? It started on the leaf, didn't it, with the other ladybird. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for your dinner. Oh, uh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. You're welcome, said the friendly ladybird. Soon all of the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both of the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon.